Much to the distaste of the screws, we ended in a white protest this morning. We moved to B-Wing, which was allegedly clean. We have shown considerable tolerance today. Men are being searched coming back from the toilet. At one point, men were waiting three hours to get out to the toilet, and only four or five got washed, which typifies the eagerness of the screws to have us off to no wash. There is a lot of petty vindictiveness from them. I saw the doctor, and I'm 64 kilograms. I have no problems. The priest, Father John Murphy, was in tonight. We had a short talk. I heard that my mother spoke at a parade in Belfast yesterday and that Marcella cried. It gave me heart. I'm not worried about the numbers of the crowds. I was very annoyed last night when I heard Bishop Daly's statement. Again, he is applying his double set of moral standards. He seems to forget that the people who murdered those innocent Irish men on Derry's Bloody Sunday are still as ever among us and he knows perhaps better than anyone, what has and is taking place in H-Block. He understands why men are being tortured here, the reason for criminalisation. What makes it so disgusting, I believe, is that he agrees with that underlying reason. Only once has he spoken out of the beatings and inhumanity that are commonplace in H-Block. I once read an editorial in late 78 from the then Archbishop of Bays, Sir Pipes of Calcutta, statement. It is said it was to the everlasting shame of the Irish people that the Archbishop had to, and I paraphrase, stir the moral conscience of the people on the huge block issue. A lot of time has passed since then, a lot of torture, and the fact the following year was the worst we experienced. Now I wonder who will stir the Cardinal's moral conscience. Bear witness to both right and wrong, stand up and speak out, but we do not know that what has to be said is political. And it's not that these people don't want to be involved in politics, it's simply that their politics is different, that is British. My dear friend Tomboy's father died today. I was terribly annoyed and it has upset me. I received several notes from my family and friends. I have only read from one from my mother. It is what I needed. She has regained her fighting spirit. I am happy now. My old friend Shana has also written, I have an idea for a poem. Perhaps tomorrow I will try and put it together. Every time I feel down, I think of Armagh and James Conley. They can never take those thoughts away from me.